Got a news flash on the tour for all you bozos and homies. Yeah, we do. We're adding second shows over there in Toronto and Denver. Tickets are flying off the shelves, and we added a third show in Chicago. Scoop them up. Don't get left out in the cold, baby. Yeah, gang, tickies are going quick. We're also going to be in Phoenix, Salt Lake, L.A., San Diego, Washington, Mm D.C., Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Pontiac, Michigan, uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Madison, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Sacramento, California, San Francisco, San Jose, and Philadelphia. That's for sure going to sell out soon. Get those tickets. We'll see you there. We love you, gang. Scoop them up, gang. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's new favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Mm -hmm. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find that after group to be classy. Yeah. Or to just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Tootie's in the new edition, baby. Uh Summer is in full swing. She's out front cracking open the fire hydrant. Uh, Okay. About to get arrested out there. Nice. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me, unamused this week. Another (laughs) swing and a miss from the big man. Fair enough. You take the good with the bad. Uh-huh. He is the Prince of Park Avenue, but always the king of the boards, baby. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. What's up, gang? Thanks for tuning Ice in. As always, please make sure you read. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are. Twitter F. Cooking, baby. Cookin'. And obviously, the greatest website of all time, www.patreon.com. Slash are you garbage, gang. Check it out over there. Ooh, yeah. And have a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man. Makes us all look good. Works the one. The ones, the twos, the threes, and the fours. Give it up for T-Bone McScruffins. It's Toby McMullen, everybody. What's up, dude? <laughs> what up, T-Bone? Listen, <laughs> it's not often you get to meet the guy who's responsible for your entire personality. <laughs> this is pretty oh, sick, wow. man. <laughs> I can freak out city I don't want to take full credit, but thank you very much. Gang, the long hair ain't lying, because today we're not talking about incredible. Today we are talking about greatness. Mm -hmm. Today we're talking about outsiders who change the game. We're talking about vert ramps and big air. Mm -hmm. We're talking about broken bones and broken hearts. We're talking about risking (laughs) it all and touching the sky, because today we're sitting down with the bird man. Give it up for a true American original. Give it up for Mr. Tony Hawk, everybody. Let's go. Let's go. What's up, man? Thank you for coming very much. Absolutely. I'm honored. This uh, is great. My, my stepson, Miles, was the one who alerted me to your show, and he's like, <laughs> you got to go on it. You, you belong there. It's just right in your pocket. They rolled in here with a skateboard and a big gulp in his hand. Him and his crew rolled <laughs> in like did. teenagers. We did. That's true. We're going straight to the skate park right here. <laughs> How'd you kids get in this building? <laughs> Buddy, congrats on the new pod, Mr. Jason Ellis, yeah. Hawk vs. Wolf. Thank you. Yeah, I, I heard you had Jason on here too, so yeah. we appreciate it. Yeah, it's we great. loved it, man. It's good stuff. Give us the uh, well documented, but give us the backstory. Give it. Give us the origin story, of Mr. Tony Hawk. You were a Cali kid, right? Uh, yeah, it's San Diego. My dad was in the Navy, um, and he retired in California. And then uh, my siblings were much older when I was born, so I was a I was a happy accident. I hope ah, I was a happy accident. Right, yeah, I know yeah, I was yeah. an accident. What was the age gap? <laughs> uh, my brother's 13 years older than me. Damn. And then my sisters are 18 and 20 years older than me. That's the first, first check yeah. mark right, right there. All right. You're on the right. You, you are made for the show, apparently. <laughs> Tony's on the board, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what did your dad do in the Navy? Uh, he was lieutenant commander in World War II. No shit. Wow. Yeah. Flew planes. and well, He was field. a pilot? He was, yeah. What did he fly? Well, uh, I wish I could tell you that. <laughs> I've oh, seen yeah. photos of it. If, if you showed me a photo, I could say, yeah, that's the plane. <laughs> Holy shit. In the yeah, big it, one. On aircraft, car- on aircraft carriers. Like, no kidding. Yeah. And what'd your mom do? Um, she was an educator. She worked at a high school. Okay. And then uh, when they retired there, my dad had a little uh, musical instrument import business. Okay. Where he sold to music stores and stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I think he did that because my sister was... But she had aspirations to be a singer. She became a, a great singer, very successful. But um, he would do all their band stuff. So he'd like lug all their equipment. And then he just decided, I'll just start getting this stuff for cheap. Yeah. And selling it to retail shops, but mostly to get it cheap for the band. For the band. Yeah. Damn. So the cutting corners, I like Your it. siblings were pretty much out of it. You were by pretty yourself. Pretty much, yeah. I, I, it was kind of like I grew up with grandparents. Right. Right. <laughs> that's so a real it was good just way you. to put that. Yeah. yeah. And that's when you started skateboarding and the um, whole thing I played uh, Little League. 
and basketball. Okay. And I, I was okay, but I never felt like I was really getting better or aspiring to do much else. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I found skating through my brother because he was a surfer. And when I, I mean, I just used it as transportation. And then one day I went to the, to the actual skate park that was designated and they had these empty swimming pools and I saw people flying around. And I was like, that uh, this this is it yeah that's the coolest shit ever yeah. how crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. is that man yeah <laughs> it's wild it's all right <laughs> hey, that's nuts uh what was the name of the street that you grew up on uh escobar drive escobar drive yeah. okay. classy and tracker all right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> talk about moving some weight <laughs> cocaine boulevard i never even i've never made that connection yeah. <laughs> you've never made the pablo escobar connection never <laughs> so the funny. el chapo subdivision <laughs> san diego <laughs> it's wild. Uh, okay. All right. Off to a good start. Yeah. <laughs> very. A, a single family home or apartment, condo? What was uh, it? It was single family home. Yeah. Okay. Um, a lot of military families gotcha. in that area. So he was stationed, last stations in San Diego yes. and said we're staying here. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. Yeah. So my, my uh, siblings had to move around a little bit. Mm -hmm. They were in Florida and Northern California at some point. Um, my Both my parents are from Montana. Okay. And then... Um, yeah, and then we ended up in San Diego, and, and they ran a... I was not born yet, but they ran a little um, beach snack bar. Really? Yeah. Damn. Holy this guy's shit. a go-getter. Your dad was a go-getter. Well, he was a hustler, for sure. Yeah. I mean, he, he grew up very uh, underprivileged, mm -hmm. and so when he... You know, and it, when they're, they're like children of the, of the Depression. Sure. sure. It, my mom had two jobs, mm -hmm. you know, and my, my dad was just trying to make ends meet. WW2, greatest yeah. generation. Yeah. Let's just go. Always on the hustle. Uh, what was the name of the grocery store that uh, your mom went to when you were a kid? You remember? Uh, Alpha Beta. Alpha Beta. I don't think I've ever yeah. heard of that. Did that turn into anything later on? I'm not like, sure. Is it, a, it, it, it is something else now. But is it a Ralph's or anything time. like that? Would it be comparable to a Ralph's? It would be like Vaughn's. Okay. Not All right. Bad. I mean, that's Ralph's. It's a smaller though. A How smaller. were they doing? Did they do? Did they do well when you were a kid? Like, did they have a little bit of money? Parents? My parents? Yeah. No. No. I'm, they. Um. I think my mom's. I don't know how she. My mom always had a spin on everything. <laughs> and I think, or later in life, she said, "Well, we, you know, we could have used a little bit more, <laughs> something like that." Sure. But yeah. I made it work. Uh -huh. Sure. All Let's right. put it this way. I remember I, there's there's little flashes of I remember, but I remember my mom coming home one day when my I think my my brother was still in the house, and she had this look of dread. And she's like, "I spent a hundred dollars on groceries." <laughs> like it was, yeah. It was she, a, she was devastated. Yeah, like it, it was it was trauma. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Humble beginnings. That's what we like to hear. Huh. Uh, what was the name of the high school you went to? Um. I went to I went to a few, but the first high school I went to was Sarah High School. It was eighth through twelfth grade. Okay, uh -huh. I was in eighth grade. Okay, I looked like I was in sixth grade. Sure. Okay, so I got bullied, um, and then uh, they moved to a different part of San Diego, and then I went to uh, San Diego High School, aka San Diego. <laughs> um, and listening. that was ninth through twelfth. Okay, uh, and I was hassled so much at that school that I asked to be transferred really? to the nearest school in the district, which was Torrey Pines, which was also more known for kids from La Jolla, more well-to-do. Gotcha. Um, I didn't care. I just didn't want to be in San Diego anymore. Uh -huh. uh, so then I went there in 10th grade. So I went to three different high schools. They bully you there? No, I was more of a go. I was, they just ignored me, okay. which, is, which is better. Which is what sure. you want. Way yeah, better, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. What was that uh, mas high school mascot? Do you remember? Toy Pines Falcons. Mm, That's good. All right. That's all respectable. Right. Pretty good, right? Yeah. I like the Falcons. Yeah. What was the pet situation growing up? Uh, I had one cat that went with me all the way up to my adult really? life. Yeah. No kidding. What was the cat's yeah. name? Zorro. Zorro. That's a good time. That's yeah. not I bad. I can't hate that. That's yeah, all right. Yeah, I like Zorro. Uh, what was the family vacations like outside of traveling for uh, <laughs> Was the uh, right? Okay, the one, the, the vacation I remember the most, like first one we ever took. Uh -huh. I was probably five. Okay. My dad put everyone in the, in the van. Sure. We had a, he had a VW van, like straight 70s. Really? Damn. Yeah. Because he could work on it too. Okay. He was, you know, he's one of those guys. And, uh, Drove us to the tip of Baja, California. Jeez. Mexico. And I seen I see pictures of this vacation. I was like, how did he ever 
deal Those weren't that the was most that. reliable cars. It was, but I just mean like it was no AC. No AC. Sure. Super hot. Just there's, you three? There's, no, it was my brother and his friend, <sighs> both of my sister. There were like seven of us in this car. <laughs> That's like a bunch of hippies. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Totally get command yeah. And we have these photos wagon. of us like on the beach and these strange sculptures and stuff. Damn. Um, hmm. And then the other f- trips we took, it was it was almost always road trips. Um, was like Yellowstone. Okay. Okay. That's nice. Disneyland. Yeah. Would you do Disneyland? So, only like birthdays. Okay. Had to be an occasion. Never flying together as a family. Once to Hawaii. Okay. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. What island did you go to? Uh, Oahu. It was okay. a, just straight. Like my dad wanted to see Pearl Harbor. Gotcha. Diamond. You know, it was just all the touristy. Sure. Waikiki, Diamond Head. Sure. You know. All right. And I was down. I mean, That's yeah, of course. Bad. Yeah. Uh, how old were you when you got your passport? Um, Probably younger now that I think about that. I was, no, I think the first time I traveled internationally, I was f- 16, maybe. Okay. Um, I was actually already a pro skater, but, uh, you know, most of the stuff we were doing was just in, sure. in the U.S. Mm-hmm. Sure. And I got invited to do a... Basically, like a Wonder Kids TV show in Tokyo. First place you went was Tokyo. Yeah, but uh, this is funny because I, I just realized this recently. Tony Hawk's super terrific. It's happy supposed hour? to be. It's supposed to, no. It's supposed to be fourteen and under. And I was sixteen, and I looked fourteen. So they, yeah. So they said you have to lie about your age on the show. Really? Yeah. Japanese TV don't yeah. mess around. <laughs> like a yeah. Cuban baseball player. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. They play yeah, exactly. fast and loose. Burning yeah. your birth certificate right in front and then of they you. Made me, they made me rename all my skate tricks because they didn't translate. Because all skate tricks have strange names. For sure. sure. And so they wanted oh, me to call funny. like one trick the floating leaf. And one, <laughs> What was uh, that supposed to be? One, what was that? Uh, what? Uh, that one was a fake Uh uh-huh. Fake yali floating, floating leaf. leaf. Yeah. Which I get. It's just kind of just kind of drifts mm-hmm. down. And then... Uh, the hand plant, you know, when you stand on one sure. hand, and we, we called an invert or a, like a tuckney. Uh, that was the monkey backdrop. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one better, Tone. I got to be honest with you. And that's out, like, if you want to look it up, that's out there. You can see that. Tony's doing the monkey backdrop. <laughs> yeah. Over there doing the Fuji apple. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's all right. Man. Huh. Um, when was the first big check from skateboarding? Um, do, you rem- do you remember I remember that? my first check. Okay. Was four dollars and eighty five cents. <laughs> Take that, Dad. Can't uh, buy much in Tokyo with for that. <laughs> for a uh, for, for a, a, a signature model. Okay. So they sold five sure. that month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how does that develop from you doing it not recreationally, but you trying to do it to you start to start to become a pro? What are your parents thinking? What are they saying? Are they supportive about They're it? They're supportive. Yeah, my dad. My I think I think your because dad was my very dad. Supportive. Yeah, because he had such a rough childhood. He just leaned into whatever his kids were into, even mm-hmm. if it was weird. So my brother surfed. My sister was a singer. Like I said, my brother became the editor of Surf Magazine. My sister ended up singing for uh, Michael Bolton among a bunch Damn, of other nice. girls. So it very worked. Accomplished family. It worked. Yeah. Um. But when uh, when I started skating he saw this lack of organization and and support for the kids and he saw what it brought me in terms of my sense of self and my you know just my confidence level and so he started an organization to sanction skate events yeah yeah, yeah. damn dude so that was definitely supportive yeah, shout out to great. the hawks doing that's it right hmm. what posters did you have on your wall when you were a kid like a young kid pre-skating i would say um I feel like I had a kiss poster. Gentlemen. Okay. Um but I don't think I really I think once I st- once I started skating, it was just that, skating. Was it. that was it. That was skating, pictures, and stickers. Okay. I get that. You remember your first concert? The cars. Really? Yeah. That's good. Damn, where was it at? Uh San Diego Sports Arena. Damn. Hmm. That's fucking pretty classy so far. <laughs> that my brother took me to. Nice. Huh. Any first jobs? Did you have did you have a job? I uh, paper it- out. You had a paper route. Yeah. Okay. Do it in the bike, on the bike, or did you walk? I skated. Man, what am I, an asshole? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I just asked fucking Tony Hawk. I suck. I was, yeah, I mean, I was, I was. <laughs> I, I just fucking I was, asked Tony Hawk if he rode his bike on his paper route. Well, but that's a fair, I, it, it might have been that I did it. Can you do a kickflip? <laughs> kickflip wasn't, wasn't even invented yet. Oh, my God. Can you do a backflip monkey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, plenty of those. Holy shit. All right. Hmm. Yeah, let's quit screwing around here. Ever, oh, sorry. You ever jump off a roof into a pool? Yes. 
course. My own. That was dumber than my question. <laughs> my own. My own. <laughs> you guys had a pool? No. Uh, in the He's neighborhood. He's doing that now. It was a community probably. pool. Okay. All right. When, and I remember my mission as a kid was to swim all the way across it lengthwise underwater, and it was like Olympic size. And you did length. it? It took me a lot. I mean, I would. I, my mom said she would watch me, and she'd be like, "He's going to drown." <laughs> was there a high dive at this pool? No, no. All right, seventies community pools played it real fast and loose. Oh, it, I know. I wish. High, yeah, I wish there had been one. high yeah. dives at three feet yeah. deep and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. It's like working in the circus, <laughs> <laughs> like a horse. <laughs> uh, you can take those off if you want. Your it's okay. No. Um, yeah, whatever you're comfortable with, brother. Uh, do you open your eyes underwater? Yeah, still do. Yeah, do you do it? Is that- some people don't do it. Some uh, people are very anti. You do that in the ocean? I do. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. You do it in a hot tub? <laughs> Not duck diving, though. Do you, do you guys know what duck diving is? Uh, yeah. No. I've seen the North Shore. It's when you go underneath the wave yeah, there and you go. swimming out. Oh, I, don't, I don't open my eyes duck diving just because I don't want to get blasted with the, the foam. Sure. Um, what did you ask me? What was the other one? The hot tub? Yeah. Yeah. yeah open them in the hot You're tub. You're the only guy I've ever. I do it myself. <laughs> You're the only other guy that opens his eyes underwater in the hot tub. Man. I don't know what gauge of garbage that is. But. <laughs> it's not classy. Yeah. It's not, oh, yeah, I, guess it's not classy. I don't know yeah. garbage either, but yeah. the fucking Kennedys ain't doing it. <laughs> I don't have some <clears throat> some ulterior motive by opening my eyes. <laughs> yeah. I'm not trying to... You doing a little peeking down there, <laughs> yeah, Tony? Right. Is that what you're that's doing? The, the moms at the community hot tub? <laughs> that's what I'm doing. <laughs> no, they wouldn't. You know what? They had a hot tub in our community pool, and they wouldn't let us in it. Oh, yeah, of course. It was like it was whatever, 16 and up. Yeah, bro. They, yeah. Said, they said it was bad for kids. Even though they were just trying to keep the kids out of Yeah, you're under there with a pair of binoculars. They're trying to get creepy, yeah. Yeah, a couple of swingers in there. <laughs> trying to let loose. Uh, what was like a dinner, like what at dinner time, the Hawk household, you know, what was that like as Could a kid Could your mom cook? Up? She cooked. Okay. okay. It wasn't it, it, it wasn't great. Okay. I mean, and, and that is, uh, that's just not from my judgment. That's no, my, I understand. My siblings as well. Okay. We're like mom was not a great. Did she cook. have a, p- a particular she, dish? She would do spaghetti with meat sauce. Okay. Um, but it it didn't have much tomato flavor, so it was, okay. she was kind of going for a bolognese. But I don't think that was the intention. <laughs> Never <got> there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I just remember sort of like ground beef on noodles. noodles. Okay. Yeah. Would you pack a lunch to school, or would you buy buy lunch at school? Uh, pack a lunch. Yeah. What would you usually take? Um, what kind of sandwich man it, are you? Yeah, it was peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. When was the last yeah. time you had a peanut butter and jelly? Uh, I think I had one at my house in the last year. All right. Grape jelly, strawberry. What do you use? Strawberry. Using? Chunky peanut butter, creamy? I like them both. You do? I usually buy creamy, though. Are you buying something real real fancy, or are you no. going like Jif Skippy? Jif. Jif. Really? Jif, yeah. Kind of bread Tony Hawk eating Jif. White bread? Is that crazy? Uh, wheat. Wheat. Now, but back then, all day, yeah, white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonder Two. bread? Were you Wonder Bread family? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wonder yeah. bread, SpaghettiOs. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Did uh, Lieutenant Commander Hawk run a tight ship at the house? <laughs> no. Like, did your room have to be clean? No. Could you eat in your room? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. They, I mean, it, uh, I'm, you know, I'm Gen X. Like, it, sure. we were just left to our own devices. It was like, just keep him busy. Yeah, keep him alive. Or just stay out. Stay mm-hmm. out until the streetlights come on. Sure. Or, sure. You know, yeah. or 10 o'clock or whatever. Is there any shows that you guys would watch together as a family? <laughs> We, we would watch 60 Minutes, not because I wanted to. I hated that, dude. Every Sunday. Like, oh, yeah, I just stuck with my parents watching 60 Minutes. As soon as you heard minutes. that clock going, you're like, fuck. Dude, that would give yeah, me so much like, anxiety. And wa- watching <laughs> subjects and yeah. themes that I have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. Talking like, about the Iran Contra. Yeah, yeah. And, then, and then what Andy Rooney would come on, you're like, well, that guy's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. like, I always was, thought he had an attitude problem, it. if we're being honest. <laughs> Watch the deal with Yeah, but it was like the out, only, but... it was at least something was some levity humor. to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, no, for sure. The, I do remember the, the thing that I got to watch with my dad. Well, let's see. No, we also watched uh, Taxi. Cool. Okay. Together. Mm-hmm. Um, but the thing that he and I both connected on that was like, oh, we're going to watch it. Do you remember Police Squad? Of course. No. When Police Squad came on, that was like, that was the family. Precursor moment. to the yeah. Naked Gun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Was he an All in the Family man? Did he like All in the Family? He Archie did, Bunker? yeah. Yeah. Okay. He, he was always in front of the TV. So I'm just trying to think of when, when I was when there, you too. were also yeah. there, yeah. Huh. Was he a beer drinker? Did he like beer? He didn't drink, really. No? No. I think because of his 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 pride, upbringing. Yeah, his upbringing, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, were you a soda family? Yes. What were you rocking? Coke. Pepsi, Coke, Coke, Coke family. Yeah. Coke at dinner. Yeah, all day. Really? Yeah. Would you have milk with dinner? 
Yeah, sometimes. Okay. Yeah. That's I remember. <laughs> Now you got now you got me going. I remember coming home from school. So I was a latchkey kid, right? I come home from school, sure. no one's home, and I would make myself uh, a bowl of uh, Captain Crunch, and then peanut butter original. I'm sorry, original. Okay. Um, and then I would make my own cinnamon toast. Whoa. Right. Go like make make the toast, uh-huh. mix up sugar and cinnamon, a little butter, butter. Yep, and a bowl of ice cream. With uh, vanilla ice cream, Hershey syrup, and then a little bit of milk so that I can mix it up into my own milkshake. That was my after school snack. Jeez. All three of those things in front of me. Damn. <laughs> Dude, I. And I, I think back now, like, that was just the most unhealthy thing I could have done. But back then, it was like, this is the dream. It's the height of luxury. On a TV tray. Oh. Watching Leave It to Beaver. There you go. Kip, let's talk about Helix. Helix, baby. Let's talk about the greatest mattress ever invent it Mm -hmm. and you could pick your own i know depends on how you sleep you go over there you take the quiz you see if you sleep uh fat do you sleep hot do you sleep cold what do you like like (laughs) you sleep bold what's going on you like a california king you like a queen Mm -hmm. you like a twin whatever you want they got you covered deliver it right to your door stop wasting time at a mattress store and get on helix yeah a little bit of this as you know it's talking this week as i got a new house Putting a helix in there. Oh, what are you, the of course. boys are sending one. Hit me up. Of course. What are you doing? I've, I've been, we're a helix in a city. We're going to be a helix in a country, baby. Getting matched you with your perfect mattress is easy. Just take the helix sleep quiz. Two, three minutes. You're out the door. Mm-hmm. Whether you need extra cushion for your spine, cooling features, overheating, helix has you covered, baby. Here's the turkey. Mm-hmm. Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows. What? For our listeners. Those pillows are all right, Ooh. by the way. I'll tell you that. Go to helix sleep dot com slash garbage that's helix sleep dot com slash garbage there this is their best offer yet and it won't last long gang get on board with helix get into bed with helix better sleep starts now <laughs> do it okay let's talk about butcher box Ooh, butcher box baby yeah one of our faves <laughs> gang everything's going up everything's expensive these days uh-huh. i gotta but- stretch a buck isn't it nice to know you get top quality meats delivered right to your door, throw them right in the freezer, have them ready for when you want to cook out, do whatever, mm-hmm. with Butcher Box. We're talking wild caught. We're wild talking caught. free range. Free range. We're talking grass fed, grass finished beef. We're talking about top quality product here. Mm-hmm. We're both on it. Fridge full of meat right now. We break them out whenever. They're fantastic. Yeah, level up your nutrition this summer with cuts of meats you can trust, baby. Butcher Box sells humanely raised cuts with no antibiotics Mm-mm. or added hormones. Mm-mm. Take that to the bank. Mm-hmm. You can even customize your Butcher Box uh, so you'll be ready to make all your favorite meals. Cooking will never be easy. I say let them pick, though. Let them send you. It's yeah, great. They know what they're doing. They know what moves. Let them curate. Uh, Butcher Box is giving us a special deal. Sign up today. I, uh, hold Here on to your go. socks, Jesus boys. I haven't Christ. read this yet. Sign up today at ButcherBox.com slash AYG. Use code AYG and get New York strips for a year. Plus twenty dollars off your first order. What are they I doing? Mean, oh, what's, what are they doing? <laughs> Butcher Box. Hold on. Start over. Sign up today at butcherbox.com slash AYG. Use code AYG to get New York strips for a year. Plus twenty dollars off your first order. That's butcherbox.com slash AYG. Use code AYG to claim this deal. Butcherbox.com slash AYG. Code AYG. Done. Stop giving away my strips. <laughs> Hit me up. These guys are going to get mad at me, but I did that a couple, a couple about a week ago. I got vanilla ice cream and the Hershey syrup. There's something about that combo, and you have to whip it up. It yeah. almost it tastes oh, like, yeah. a, it's it's like, like a homemade frosty. It's shake. It's the best. Dude, it's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Okay. All right. I like this. Um, when you did start making some cash skateboarding, was as a, as a young man, was there a silly, purchase. crazy purchase? <laughs> You buy yourself a jet ski or anything like that? <laughs> Overextend on a car or something? A, a date with Tony Katane or something? I bought... <clears throat> this is so dumb. Did you say a date with Tony Katane? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, could you buy weird those? Weird science. Weird science. <laughs> Which I'm fully... Yes, I would have. Yeah. It, hey, if, had that, that been available... That men. <laughs> yeah. It was that, that was like a Make-A-Wish thing. Uh, but, why can't I think of her name? What's her name in that? Uh, I can't pull it. Uh, Rachel something. Oh, um... No. Curly hair. Yeah. Toby, you got it? Lisa? Yes. What, what's the actor's yeah, name? Yeah, Lisa was the character. Oh, shit. My bad. Uh, Kelly LeBrock. Yeah. Kelly LeBrock, yeah. Oh, man. Fantastic. I remember seeing um, Anthony Michael Hall at an event, 
when I started to get invited to things like that. Sure. And he recognized me, which I was stoked, but I was like, weird science. Dude. <laughs> yes. He was literally a comedic genius when he was a kid. Yeah. Shout out to Anthony. Michael. Yeah, 16 oh, candles. It, yeah. Man. But go ahead. Big purchase. Oh, uh, <laughs> so my, my, I live near one of my older sisters. We together bought a tanning bed. Whoa. That's the most. How? You are trash. <laughs> and we That's live. That's the trashiest We in live in San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> what year are we talking here? Uh, Let's see. Uh, well. Late 80s? Uh, it would have been like 87, yeah. Dude, they were so dangerous back yeah. then. Dude. <laughs> Better off on the sun. Yeah. No, we went. We bought a sharper image. <laughs> Dude. Which was the height of luxury. Oh, yeah. Right? No, oh, still is in my And that's book. what I would do. I would go, like, if I got a, a, a decent paycheck, because my paycheck was all royalty based. So sometimes it's up here and sometimes it's down here. Mm-hmm. So, like, oh, it's a good month. I'd go there and get, like, the newest small camera and the best new headphones. Mm-hmm. Just a. And it was all garbage. Yeah, like, it was a nut, like, it was the worst quality. Where'd mm-hmm. you keep the tanning bed? At her house. But I, I, it was close enough that I would just go use it, like in a garage. Did you guys use it a lot? Did it get I used it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember how much it cost? Probably uh, back then, like ten grand, thousands. Or yeah. yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Also, at ten grand in the eighties might as well be four mil. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 absolutely. That's, that infl- yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Uh-huh. I wanted to buy at the time. I wanted to buy uh, our, the arcade machine seven twenty, and I couldn't get a deal on it. They wanted twelve grand for it, and. That should have been my cool ultra purchase, but I never bought one. Yeah. yeah, this is the coolest thing I've ever bought, and now it's out of order. A big uh, buck hunting machine. I did. I ended up. I, I came upon a 720 machine last nice. year. We'll give you a good deal on that. Yes, very good deal. <laughs> yeah. Ah. The guy was trying to get rid of it because it was taking a room in his house. There you go. I was saying the buck hunter. I'll give you a good deal on that if you want. <laughs> oh, but no, no. <laughs> Please get it out of here. <laughs> Carry that out of here. <laughs> I'm out five grand on it. Who was cutting the hair when you were a kid? Just go to a regular barber. Or your mom do it. Um. I think my mom did it. Yeah. Mom was doing yeah. it in the kitchen. Uh, yep. Nice. Do you ever have a proper bowl cut? Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I have plenty of photographic proof. Who's cutting the hair now? Uh, who's cutting the hair? It's a hairstylist. Hairstylist. They come yeah. to the house, or you go to them? I go to them. You go to them. All right. Sure. What's that run you? Um, about like eighty bucks. That's not bad. If it, well, if, if it depends on if she does color. Okay. I'm I'm not hiding it. Like I got. Sure. I'm trying to. Cover this gray as much as possible. Sure, sure. Is that like a running tab situation, or is it like you go get the haircut, boom, here you go? Yeah, nice. What are you dropping on the tip? What's, What's the, tip? the total? Yeah, uh, forty bucks. You do forty. Yeah. All right, so one twenty out the door. Pretty yeah, one twenty. Yep. That's Pretty a gentleman good. right there. That ain't bad at all. Nice. You doing all right? Tell you that. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little bit of cash on you, Tony. Uh, you're a are uh hmm. Are you do you consider yourself a bit of a foodie? I do now, you yes. You do now. Yeah. Because I saw la- I saw where you were the other day at 11. 11 Mouse Park, yeah. yeah. Which is... It, I think that's the one thing that I will definitely splurge on, but also take advantage of whatever celebrity I've accrued. I is love that, that. that. We heard about the chef's reservations. table. Yeah. 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 That's the ultimate. Right. Yeah. The yeah. fact that you're at a restaurant that has a chef's table in the kitchen. That I know too, yeah. Well, let's put it this way. We're, go- we're going to Atomics tomorrow. I don't even know what that that is. is. (laughs) Atomics is like number good. (laughs) Like number, I want to say like number three restaurant in the world right now. Uh Okay, here in NYC. How are you setting those reservations up? Because you can't just call me like Tony Hawk. I'm serious. I'm Tony Hawk. I have uh, luckily a a network of friends that that are connected. Uh, My friend John Gray, he runs Ghetto Gastro. He's my New York City connection. So you call him and say, "I'm looking to hit these spots." Well, I went out with him, and then like, oh, you got a connection to Atomics? Of course he does. Yes. When you go out to dinner, Damn, you're cool. Dude. Say you go out with a few of your friends. Is it individual eating, or do you get like a bunch of apps at the table and share it? Are you a shared food guy? Um, yeah, I, yeah. Yes. Try everything. Yeah, yeah. Try. I mean, not everything. I don't. Not, it's not. I don't like being crazy wasteful. No, okay. no. I'm. I'm saying like, would you just get your own appetizer? And no, the, no. I would be like, no. We're getting all these. Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. I looked, like uh, we went on the infield a little bit. Yeah, we went. Um, I took one of my kids to this other place here, uh, Tatiana, which is another highly rated restaurant. Anyone? And we went there. And, I don't got a guy. I'm I just screwed. pointed. <laughs> I just I, po- I read about it. like I'm I'm obsessed. Sure. With it. But uh, I I just pointed at the the last four appetizers. Like we won all these. Mm-hmm. Hit me with them. Yeah. Nice. Tony Hawk, man. Uh huh. Guys, doing. Love to see it. How do you get your steak cooked? Uh medium. Medium. Yeah. Okay. 
Respectable. Respectable. It's not medium rare, but it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. You do. Deserve- I think I do medium because a lot of times we're getting stuff to go or it's in the middle of stuff, and then if if it's medium rare and it sits for at at, at any length of time, mm-hmm. it starts running. Cold and rare. And- I, I I get that. Are that- you a sushi guy? You like sushi? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And do you take leftovers with you from the restaurant? Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Wrap these up. We're taking them out. Yeah. Are you walking out with them, or do you get somebody to carry them out? I <laughs> walk out with them. All right. <laughs> Give this to my bag, man. What, you need a caddy? <laughs> hey, call, call James. Tell him to come over here. <laughs> Grab my leftovers. And bring my butter ring. <laughs> <laughs> Fetch my onion rings. Uh, okay. Will you change the table? Will you ask for a table change at a, at a restaurant if you sit down and you don't like it? Do you, people do that? Sure. I don't. I've never no, done that. No, we don't. I've never once done that. But you're getting, they're putting they're you put, in a nice yes, spot. I, okay, yeah, yeah you're, you're right. You're correct. When right. you're at But the, I don't even, I mean, we went to just some diner this morning. There's no way we're in a No, of that. course. Yeah, New York City diner. I don't give a shit who you are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Greeks don't like skateboarding, right? <laughs> I call cops now, okay? Um, are you doing, like at these nice joints, are they putting you, are they putting you in a private room in the back? Are you a little semi private table? Um, or are you out with the riffraff? No, out with the riffraff. Yeah, right. because you are obviously everybody. You know, you're a very famous person, right? At least, I, the, I guess that means you ask. But uh, I would, but like you're also a very uh, man of the people. Man of the people. At, at the same time, you're not. Like, you're very approachable and everything. You know yeah, I, mean? I, I wouldn't want to be set apart like yeah. that anyway. Damn, that's what I want. It feels okay, weird. Put me it, in the back. But it is weird. Like with my wife, she she isn't. She's not into the gluttony. And we go places, and then they, you know, they get excited, and they'll mm-hmm. send out a bunch of stuff, and then she just yeah. stares at me like, "Great, yeah." Now I'm stuck here. Now we're in this. All this food. Mm-hmm. How do you feel uh, about it? You're like keeping coming. I get hyped, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we have we've come to an agreement where if it if I know it's going to be excessive, it's going to be my own thing. Okay, She's not going. Gotcha. Gotcha. And that's fine. We're, we're we, you know, mm-hmm. we've do agreed you, to disagree on that. Do you booze at all? You yes. drink. Yes. You like a nice glass of wine? Whiskey. You like whiskey? Yeah. What do you, what's your go to? You have a go to? Oh, man. That's a loaded question. Um, Hakushu 12. Yes. Japanese. Is that one of your tricks? <laughs> <laughs> that's a, is that from you know, the TV a show? name for a trick. <laughs> You're on the bottle. <laughs> Damn. That's a good idea. Yeah. Is that, okay. So, all right. I love the restaurant talk. Here we go. You sit down. You're kicking it off. First of all, is it, is it, is it bottled water, tap water? Or tap sparkling. water. You're doing tap. Yeah. I mean, if, if there's, they just throw you the three options, then we usually go tap water, yeah. Really? Okay. Man, the people. Okay. And wanna... then what can I get you to start? You want something something to drink? You want something from the bar? You're getting a glass of, a glass of whiskey. Yes. Are you getting a cocktail with it, or is it just nah, straight on the rocks? on the rocks, yeah. Man, that's pretty fucking classy. Is that classy? Yes. Yeah. Don't forget who you're fucking talking <laughs> to. This is fucking Mr. Hawk Boat Brigade, you pussy. You asked him if he rode a bike. What are you talking about? Did you ever use rollerblades? <laughs> Man, I'm an idiot. <laughs> All right. So you kick it off with that. Then you do the apps. Then you have dinner. You dessert, man. You like yep. a little sweet. Yeah. What do you like? What's the poison? Uh, Chocolate? Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not picky. I don't like cheesecake. Really? Yeah. Well, thanks for coming by. <laughs> you just made a mortal Damn, enemy. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> did I say I don't like I don't like all cheesecake? Tell me, call security, will you? I don't like most cheesecakes. Okay. No. And huh. in that situation, I is, is it I'll have the chocolate mousse, she'll have the this, or is it spread out with a bite of this, a bite of that, bite of that? Uh, well, generally, for instance, the last place we went, they just sent them out. Like, we want to send you guys sure. few desserts. Of course they do. Awesome. Yes. Mm-hmm. And everybody just tries. It. Uh, but I usually, I'm, I'm usually the guy. If, if it's by choice, I'll just ask them what, what do they recommend? And will you take so that when they brought out the desserts on the house, and you didn't finish them, you taking those with you too, or do you leave those there? Uh, desserts don't travel. Yeah, I don't well. think we generally take the. But they usually get eaten. I mean, it's almost always. Okay. There's gone. a group of four or five. But if yeah, not, that's sure. a gentleman. yeah. There's, there's not like let's put this way. There's not. The the whatever decadent chocolate cake, mm-hmm. you know, with the ice cream. None of that's getting left. Okay. None of that's getting. Yeah. If there's wasted, a bite or two left. Yeah. It's, someone's taking. Someone's it. taking. Are it. you yeah, a yeah, coffee yeah. man? Do you have an espresso to finish off the uh, meal? Uh, yeah, black coffee. Yeah. You do? Yeah. Okay. No espresso. I don't know. I don't usually get espresso, but I just I just like black coffee. I have a black coffee. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Not bad. Respectable. 
He's doing all right. If we went to your house right now. Hold on. Go ahead. Sorry. Before we leave the restaurant. Oh, all right. The culmination of the restaurant. Oh, here we go. You're out, right? Are you picking up most dinners? Yes. Right. That's, he, just, he couldn't get that out quick yeah. enough. <laughs> <laughs> who does it have to be? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> who do you got to be with where, where they're who, getting Who it? picks up a dinner for you? That's what I wanted. That's what, who's... Who's grabbing the check and saying, uh, Mr. Actually, Hulk, the I last got one was agents and my shit? buddy John, I told you, who runs Ghetto Gastro. He, he, okay. But he knows he's got to be stealthy about it. So he got up to go to the bathroom, and I was convinced he was just going to the bathroom because we weren't even really finished. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and then he came back. And, so you're, ex move. you're expecting to, to take care of this. I do, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's one perk that I can, you can share sure. with my success. And I'm happy to. Like, I'd much rather have these social experiences and, and pay for them mm -hmm. than to have anyone worried that they can't afford it. No. Damn. Gentlemen. So well put. Um, I ever split in the check. Multiple credit cards. Yeah, only when that. people insist on it. Okay. I, I usually just try to grab it. But you're not a fan of that. No. You're obviously not sending Venmo requests or anything like that. Back <laughs> no. Do you have a Venmo? <laughs> Yeah. What? You do? Yeah. That's wild. I get the funniest request. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. I, I, gotta, I could share. A, a I, I, I get them, too. People are like, I'm real jammed up. Send me 50 bucks. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to be in so much trouble for doing this because now people are going to try to find me. But uh, oh, awesome. let me see if I can find some of the funnier ones. <laughs> <laughs> Just landed my first kickflip. Give me 50 bucks. How do you find requests? I need 12 oh. grand. One guy requested $5 for big ass 900. <laughs> <laughs> this other guy you said, uh, that? This guy said, fisherman fees. You've been eating a lot of commercially sourced fish, Tony. That's bad for the oceans. So he wants to get paid. He, and yeah, pay him. Yeah, so pay me. Mr. Ocean. Uh, this guy is the annual Tony Hawk appreciation fee. So I have to pay him to pay appreciate him. me. Yeah. Uh, and the other guy Damn. just said, sup, man? Can you spot me five bucks? <laughs> <laughs> I respect it. Gotta respect uh, it. All right. All right. So we got the restaurant covered there. Huh. So now if we did go wow. to your house. It was if, exhausting. If, if, if we were at your house and you said, you guys want a glass of water, what are we getting? Are we getting from what, the- What do you have to offer? From the faucet? Are we getting a bottle? Are we getting reverse osmosis? Uh, you would get liquid death. Because yes. he's a company man. Because yeah. I get him free. Shout out to him. <laughs> I, I have a question for you. They send me they send me four cases every every month. Nice. So you've had a ton of sponsorship deals like this. What was the free bagel bite situation back in the day? Uh, what was the the? I mean, I was sponsored by them. Wait, you were sponsored by Bagel Bites? Yes. Are you our king? Jesus. That was that was my first big corporate sponsor on my sort of second wind of a career. Jeez. In the '90s, before before video games and stuff, that's wild. Did they send you some for free? Yeah, and I and I through the years, I still buy them. Like I still buy them. I, I buy them so regularly. I, I buy them regularly for my for well for all of our kids. My daughter's 14 now. Mm -hmm. She still likes them, mm -hmm. so they still they're still in the freezer. Okay. Um, but I got to do sort of a <clears throat> a revamped sponsorship with them a couple years ago because they knew I was still buying it. Dude. So we went full circle. Literally 20 Bagel years Bagel Bites, hit me like, up! Dude, I, I was like 13 with my homies. That commercial came on. I was like, can you imagine all the free Bagel Bites you get? <laughs> <laughs> man, to be that guy. Would you consider yourself a Pop-Tart or a Strudel Man? Pop-Tart. Pop-Tart. Hmm. Okay. Do you have a favorite Pop-Tart flavor? Strawberry. Frosting? Yep. Okay. Dude. All right. Could you... Do you eat Pop Tarts without frosting? I had to when I was a kid. We got the off brand ones. We got Toastums. Oh, yeah. They sucked. Yeah. They sucked. No, we had, yeah. Uh, we were living large. Real hmm. Pop Tarts. Yeah. Frosting. <laughs> that, was the they were, that was when they were, they were hitting, too. That's when yeah. they dropped. Yeah. Aside from the Bagel Bite, do you have a go to frozen pizza you like or that you used to like? Um, uh, Hot Pockets. Is that, Ooh, I mean, it's yeah. frozen pizza, no. right? Hey, buddy. It's pretty trashy. That's very trashy. Yeah, but very we like good. it. That pepperoni, pepperoni. The double, and the, yeah. don't they have a, a double pepperoni one? I don't know if I ever, I ever pepperoni? dabbled in the double. Who's uh, who's doing know. the grocery shopping now, and, and and where are you going? I do. You do mostly, yeah. Where are you going? Well, it, that's the thing. <laughs> My wife and I do it. Uh, we we share in the duties, but she likes to go to much more healthier stores. Sure, you know more. They like, don't sell bagel bites, probably. 
Do not. Yeah. Yes. Or Annie's off brand, like healthy sure. ones. Get out of here. Annie's makes a pretty decent <laughs> mac and cheese. I, yes, but lay off the bagel bites though. Sure. Yeah, like if you ain't, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Gotcha. Way. So I go to Gelson's, which is basically right. Like a regular Ralph's, grocery store. Yeah, and I'm getting all the Just See you on a Saturday. Names. Walking around Gelson's Absolutely. with a shopping cart. That's yeah. fucking nuts, dude. <laughs> I know, yeah. dude. Yeah. You go there and ask him. Yeah, he comes <laughs> in all the time. Hey. You go to the deli counter. Do you guys get like lunch meat and stuff like that? Okay, let's talk about Fitbod. Fitbod, baby. I got one right here. We're, 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 we're a couple of gentlemen. They're trying to turn things around, trying to get ourselves in shape. Yep. Get Fitbod. You got a hot new app over there. Mm -hmm. Helps you out. Helps you work out. Let you know. What you got customizes a workout to your needs mm -hmm. and to what you have in the house. I know. It's fantastic. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. It's cheaper than a personal trainer. Great way ease, great way to ease into fitness lifestyle, baby. Because I do that where I jump in. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to fucking do this sure. every day, three times. I'm doing two a days. I'm 36 years old, bald. I'm trying two a days. This guy's got four Pelotons like an <laughs> idiot. Get <laughs> Fitbod. I need one in each room. Uh, it's not too late to crush your summer fitness goals, baby. And that's what me and a big man are doing. Check it out. Yes, we are. Dropping uh, LBs. Uh, get 20% off your subscription or try the app free at fitbod.me slash garbage. One more time, gang. I'll get you 20% off your subscription. There you go. 20%. Try it for free. Test it out. 20% off your subscription or try the app free at fitbod.me slash garbage. That's fitbod, F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash garbage. Do it. I just get the I just get The, the pre-packaged? Pre-sliced, yeah. Really? Yeah. Wait a minute, the, like the like the Hillshire? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Huh. You like it sliced thin? Not thin. No. I mean, I don't, I, I don't really. That blows my That's mind. Good. I can't get you're, a read on this guy. You're not going to the deli counter and saying, "Give me a, a pound of turkey and a pound of cheese." I've you're never, going. You're going I've to never the. Never gone to the deli counter. You're going to the, to the grocer section and getting. Yeah. The, what, what, I have a I have a like I have a line so I know exactly if I'm going like he's in a skateboard dude. exactly <laughs> got, yeah I gotta I'm hit going, the transfer I'm and then going I gotta left <laughs> and I'm going over I'm getting getting these this, this he's one got raisin bread he's got a camera guy in a cart behind Wait, him getting what kind of bread uh well I like to get cinnamon raisin bread you know the um yeah you do yeah cin for cinnamon raisin toast <laughs> it's a, a lot of it goes to waste but I every once in a while I get it so yeah it's humble it's it's yeah. fantastic and then I get the thin uh. Like wheat bread, that's my attempt at keeping it healthy. Sure. Um, and then I just go straight into the like the orange juice, yogurt, <laughs> and then a front a front rock by the skim milk. <laughs> yeah, totally. And then that one comes right back around into the deli, <laughs> and not not the deli, the you know the 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 cold the yeah, the prepackaged yeah. meats. That's yeah, where the cuts. security guard yeah. catches up with him and chases him out. <laughs> Get out of here, you kids. Um, who's packing? Are you packing the kids' lunch? Uh, I used to, yeah. I mean, my daughter, she's just she's self sufficient now. She's gotcha. got Apple Pay. She's got like, and they have they have lunches that she can buy at school, and she prefers that. More. Okay, hmm. but All I right. but I used to, yeah. Hmm. Wow. What's your go to breakfast? What's a typical breakfast for you? Uh, either that um uh the what is it oatmeal the um steel cut steel cut yeah doing steel cut yeah all right either that or uh or Corn flakes or frosted flakes. Really? Um, yeah. You still drinking soda? Yeah. I, uh, we usually have a supply of Coke and Diet Coke. You yeah. eating yeah. frosted flakes? This guy's sometimes, all over sometimes. the place. <laughs> I, know, I can't but, get but a then read sometimes, on them. Then sometimes it's just like yogurt and I'll put corn flakes on the yogurt. Okay. <laughs> I mean, this guy is my kind of guy. What about um, if you're having like eggs? How would you normally have your eggs? And do you like eggs? If I'm home scrambled. Yeah. Home scrambled. Yeah. Cheese? Put cheese in them? Yeah. American? Uh, yeah. Or cheddar. All right. Yeah. It's like a 14-year-old, man. <laughs> this is fucking awesome. <laughs> He's sponsored by Bagel Bites. <laughs> God, Not anymore, him. but, I mean, but I'm still. still. Hey, I'm a free agent now. <laughs> Want to let's run it back? I'm ready. <laughs> Jump on pizza rolls like your own blood to cribs. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Cheesy oh. eggs and cinnamon raisins. Totinos. Bread. Yeah. Uh, okay. How many suits do you own now? Uh, I have one. One suit. The one I got married in, yeah. Really? I mean, I have I have another one, but it's so old that it would, it, you know, like if I really were to bring it out, people are like, dude. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shoulder pads, like an old Steve Harvey <laughs> yeah. suit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you know like, what, I don't know a whole lot about high fashion, but I feel like people would be like, that's from 1997. Some moth holes in it and shit. Yeah. 
Uh, uh, is it is it is it a designer brand? Is it a, is it an expensive suit? Probably not. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's Zenya. I don't even know what that is. Yeah. It's- Erminilda, Ermilda. Okay. I don't know. Oh, I got nothing. You didn't get it at Today's Man. I did not. Okay. I got it. Actually, I got it from a friend of a friend who owns a owns a suit a, a store. store. Uh, do you know how to tie a tie? No. Huh. How many bathing suits do you own? Bathing suits? Yeah. Like just trunks? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I got like four. Okay. Do you wear underwear under them? No. Do they have netting in them? Or do they like the no, board shorts? No, You're but I like grew the... up surfing. Like, yeah. I, yeah. So it's board you know, shorts. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, just yeah. board shorts. Just yeah. free balling. Yeah. Free sure. Balling. Okay. Huh. You got I a did... pool at the house. Yes. Hot tub? Yes. Connect it? It's connected. Yeah. Waterfall? Uh, yeah. You mean like from the hot tub into the yeah. pool? Yes. Not not like an actual waterfall. But no, I got Is this the you. same house that was on cribs? Most likely, yeah. Yeah. It's a nice house. Salt water? Chlorine pool. Chlorine. Chlorine. Yeah. All right. Huh. Anyone in your family ever represent themselves in court? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's cutting the grass? You have landscapers or are yes. you doing it yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Any type of yard work or gardening? No. On your end? No. Are you handy around the house? Can you hang uh, a picture, hang yeah, a TV? Yeah. I, I get by. Yeah. I can't say that I'm I'm doing it in the most professional way, but sure. I but I make it work. I feel like skaters always are a little bit because you know, like the it's every very you always had to build your ramps yeah. and yeah, everything. It's very DIY, yeah. yeah. And I learned a lot through building ramps. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hmm. You have a go-to karaoke song? Wow. I don't. N- not really. I think uh, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I was, I was trying to think of what my first karaoke song was. I I remember it saying, um, uh, "When doves fly." <laughs> Ooh. Man, you really get the party going with that. <laughs> Jesus, imagine it was walking, so, it walking was, into a karaoke bar like, and be like, "Is that fucking Tony Hawk?" <laughs> yeah, this was like mid '90s, and they had an MTV <laughs> event, and they had a big after party, and. Steve Caballero, who's also yeah. a professional from that era, he and I got up and sang When Doves Fly. I have no idea why we chose that. <laughs> okay. Huh. I, but I'm not saying that's a go-to because that was one and done. Sure. Will you dance at a wedding? Nah. Uh, I would prefer not to. Okay. I mean, my, I, my, um, my nephew got married here actually uh, in Brooklyn last year, and, and I felt compelled. Yeah, sure. What are we yeah. talking? Electric slide? Are we doing the Macarena or just out there the doing light. a little bit of? Actually, his, his bride is Russian, and so they're doing this very traditional. Okay, Russian that's fun. Thing. That's all right. So I can't even tell you what kind of music it was. But, all right, but it got everyone moving. Um, huh. nephew's wedding. What's a guy like you dropping in the envelope on a on, on a on a relative like that? Uh, at least a G. Yo. That's the right answer, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Hawk, the Birdman. Yeah, at least a G. That's a fucking gentleman, right? There. That is that is also like the very gentleman response because yes. it, let, it lets the it lets the mind wander. I don't know what yeah. it is, but it's at least a G. Hawk. Yeah, gets me I would feel it. like if I knew I gave them less than that, it would just. Be like, He's your, I, bet, I picture your nephew at home right now with a check for like 200 bucks. Be like, <laughs> lying motherfucker. <laughs> this thing bounced, it's too. It's all I could get out of the ATM. <laughs> he gave me a rebate. I have for- a $400 limit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm traveling. <laughs> Gives him a rebate for bagel bites. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, is that a, is that a check? Or- <laughs> That's a good one, actually. <laughs> I, got, I, I, did, a, I did a whole promotion with Chipotle, and, and there it was a kind of this... This I don't know how to explain it. it. wasn't really a direct promotion, so they couldn't necessarily give me a budget for it. Mm-hmm. So they gave me like $1,000 in Chipotle cards. <laughs> nice. And I used that for <laughs> Christmas gifts, oh, man. for like corporate gifts. Mm-hmm. It was amazing. I, yeah, of course. <laughs> That's all right. Shuck people were hyped. Yeah. yeah. Apparently there's a bla- there's like a black uh, Chipotle card that they give to- I got one. You, really? you do? I do, yeah. Carte blanche. What's that? You just walk in. It's 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 supposed to be for a burrito a day. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's and uh, I I don't have it on me, but it says Tony Hawk's burrito card. Are you using that? I've used it maybe twice. I've had it for like five years. Okay. Huh. It feels a little pretentious. Sure. That's what I've heard. I've heard people being like, "Hey, you go." Yeah. And I've also presented it 
because you know it's a flex, obviously. And of course. I was with a friend. It was like, come on, you got to use it. I'm like, all right. And the, the cashier's just like, well, I don't. What, what am I supposed to do with this thing? <laughs> Guacamole's extra, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Your balance and is two ninety five. Yeah, yeah, that don't cover guac and chips. <laughs> <laughs> but the manager came over and was like, oh yeah, you got to put this code and da, 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 da. Dude, I would be Thank using. You. Give me a water cup too, and I'm putting soda in it. <laughs> I'd be using it at restaurants and ball at bars to flex on people. Oh I'd yeah. Like, oh, sorry, it's my lifetime burrito card. I'll take that back. I, I mean, used to have. This was one of the coolest things in the sort of 2000s when, when I, I had a bit of celebrity. Then was um, uh, I got a Wonka card, the fuck and is that? this is before before social media. You know, before everyone's really connected on even on cell phones. Mm-hmm. And it was like, call this number, and just say an address, and then we'll send you a grip of candy. Damn. And so I would call it every couple months and be like, "Yep." Yeah, Da, 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 my address and this giant box of different Wonka candy would come. Would, it, was, it was the golden ticket. That day? Or like, like a couple days later? Like Next day. Next day? Yeah. Man, that's a hookup right there. That was pretty sick. Damn. Yeah. That's all right. Uh huh. What kind of car are you whipping around in now? Uh, I have a Lucid Air. What the, the fuck is that? Electric car. It's sick. Electric, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's uh. the day to day? Yeah, that's because it's got great range. So I'm. I'm yeah. Would you consider yourself a car guy? Do you have do you have multi? Do you have anything? I have fun? a '64 Corvette. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's the cool. opposite of an electric car. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, but you know what I did? I electrified it. Did you? I what? Did, yeah. What are you, Doc Brown? You electric? <laughs> yeah. Christ. I, I, heard about a, I heard about I heard about a a company that was doing that near my area, and I brought I, I brought it up to them, and they're like, "Well, we'd love to do it if you know we could do it for a TV thing." I'm like, yeah, no problem. Holy so they got shit. they did it for um for Leno's show, garage, yeah, 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 yeah Leno's garage. So they and and actually it we talked about them doing it. They started the process. The COVID hit. It just everything went south, and then Leno called, and they got it done. Man, it was super cool. Mm. Electric did, Corvette. Did they do they do yeah. the thing where they put like a speaker in it so it still makes the engine sound? <laughs> Not yet. Let's just say they're still fine tuning it. It's been a while. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, have you ever asked for a receipt at a toll booth? No. Okay. You got the Easy Pass, right? What's that? You got Easy Pass. That's probably not Easy Pass. Uh, uh, it, it's fast tracking home. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm. What's a What's a family vacation look like now? Where, uh, where, are you, where are you going? What are you doing? It's usually tropical. Um, let's see. The last vacation. On no, the last vacation we took last year, we went to Italy, and we went to this place that basically you rent houses on the property, but it, but it's all part of a, more of a hotel property. So uh-huh. mm-hmm. you can go, to, you know, to the restaurant. And, sure, sure. But it was definitely the 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 Italian experience. Okay, it's not bad. doing it right. TSA pre check, I assume. I don't have it because not all of my kids have it. So I travel with them a lot. So I just and I just haven't bothered. You're waiting in line. You're taking your shoes off. What? <laughs> You're joking, You're right? No, but I. You uh, got the Chipotle card. Flash <laughs> it at them. But I'm usually in the first class line. Of course. All right, that makes sense. You're so that, we'd throw you out of here if you honestly, weren't. If you aren't flying first class. Yeah, but dude. honestly, the the first class line usually is shorter than the TSA line. Sometimes it is, but you still have to take your shoes off. I don't care about that. My shoes are look at this. It's no problem. You ever get to go into that private thing where they where they have stuff and where you're not yes. waiting in line? Yes. Concierge key. Yes. Yes. You do that. Uh, I've done that at LAX a couple times. Yeah. Private suite. Yeah. That's unreal. Yeah. Mr. Kreischer talks about that a lot. Yeah. That, Mr. that place. That's crazy. Do you yeah. have to get asked for that, or do you you, you just, have to just ask? Gotta pay through you the gotta nose. pay. That's crazy, yeah. right? Are you a lounge man? Do you enjoy a lounge? Uh, if the layover is long enough. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, will you grab a bite to eat in the airport? Yeah, yeah. Okay. McDonald's. You're a very yeah. simple man. Mickey wow. D's. Yeah. You're a Mickey D's Cheeseburger, man. Cheeseburger, no onions. Cheeseburger, no onions. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> really? Is that all you're doing? Fries. Give me your typical Mickey D's order. Cheeseburger, no onion, fries, large iced tea. Unsweetened iced tea? Unsweetened. Huh. Yeah. Just a cheeseburger. Or Coke, like, if I'm feeling. Not a quarter pounder. Cheeseburger. Not yeah, double cheese. I, just, I like the yeah, I like the size. And that fills you up. That's it. I mean, it's an it's good enough for. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get food on the plane. Okay. 
you know, but it, it'll do. No onions. My they're my favorite. The diced onions at at Mickey D's. I don't know. It's just when I was a kid, that's all I would taste, and then that just triggered me every time. That makes sense. Uh, with with the yeah. travel, when was the last? You're obviously first class now. When was the last time you were in the van with like the team? Oh, um, that still happens. Absolutely. Uh, I was in just a couple of years ago in Vegas with the whole team. Nope. Like we went, uh, we went to a, uh, a backyard pool, but it was, a, it was a pool in an apartment complex that was empty to skate it, try to get some clips and some photos and cops showed up and I managed to get everyone out of the ticket. Yeah. I would fucking shit, hope so. dude. But still, that's awesome. You're still living it, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah dude. Fucking Slim Jims in the back seat. Cops uh, chasing you out. Yeah. Clint came to our show in uh, Oklahoma City. Oh, Walmart. yes. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Clint was on that trip. Yeah. He's the man. Damn. Uh, yeah. Huh. That's pretty. Have you ever been ghost hunting? No. Okay. Anybody in your family ever claimed to see a UFO? No. Okay. Have I you ever bought the floor model of an appliance or a TV? Yes. Recently? Uh, yeah. What? Really? Yeah. What was it? It was something that is the only one. I was like, yeah, it's fine. All right, that makes sense. The only one you'll take. Like we're talking yeah. like in a Best Buy. Oh, or... you mean like the? It'd be like, hey, knock off two hundred oh, no, bucks I... and I'll take. This I did one. get a discount on it. They always give you a discount. Yeah. It okay. was something fancy though. It was something like, oh man, what was it? It was it was so, it was like a it was like a product or something. Okay. Was something uh, fancy where I was like, uh -huh. well, can we just get that one? Uh -huh. That's the one we have. Okay. You know, we'll give you a slight discount on it. A You're, Prada. Like we, you it was something that was like my wife and I were, you know. We They're were, making TVs no, now? No, 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 not TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have no idea, bro. How poor are we? Yeah. <laughs> we mentioned restaurants and fucking Shit, suits, I don't I just, know. I just gave up the Illuminati secret. So. <laughs> Skateboarder, yeah, my ass. TV and LV. Sign us up, baby. We we're in. Louis Vuitton cars. <laughs> you don't know what's going on over here. Yeah. Huh. Gucci hot dog rolls. What's going on here? <laughs> What is Ooh. the one thing you'll splurge on, you know, design or like, what, you know, because you're, you know, you're wearing very basic, you know, yeah. modest stuff. You're wearing your fucking birdhouse hoodie and stuff. You know? Um, I would, uh, what would I, are you like a watch guy? Watches. Or, yeah. Well, I got watch. into, I got heavily into watches to the point where I had to get out. Really? Yeah. Because it was just, it's just a rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't know, they say but, it's, but they always like retain their, I don't know. That's some not, of them did. Okay. Most of them went not so much Luxury and I'm, I'm not like taking the greatest care of them mm -hmm. so okay did you um, have a swatch watch back in the day shark watch anything like that I had a swatch watch yeah you had a swatch yeah you ever have one of those uh puka necklaces yeah like, rock one of those of course okay yeah puka necklace and then he was the guy that wore one that everybody else was trying to be the way that's why i but, wore one but, that's why from, i can't i was trying them. to be tony hawk <laughs> at, at school the, it was basically you went to Hawaii to pr proof you went to Hawaii was a puka necklace. Sure. Okay. So when I t went to Hawaii with my parents that one time, uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Came back with came it. Came back. And then proof that you have been to Tijuana is when you were in a poncho. Okay. Proof that I went to Wildwood, New Jersey, <laughs> shark tooth necklace. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and a black eye. <laughs> uh, will you get cash back when you make a purchase? Like, let's say you go to CVS or something like that. You get a you, you pay uh, with your card only rarely. Okay, I I have, but I don't usually. Are you more of a debit card man, more of a credit card man? Um, I'm both. You're both. What yeah. kind of what kind of plastic are you throwing around? Kind of steam, you got an yeah. Amex. Um, I do, but I just use my Visa, my Bank of America Visa. Huh. Most of most because I'm tr I'm I'm trying to get miles. Man, I can't. This guy. Yeah, he like, plays both sides of the ball, dude. He like the Sphinx. I, it's because I've, I've been trying to get Miles. You're Tony Hawk. <laughs> Fucking Ollie. What are we doing here? Wherever you want to go, come on. It's because I've lived both sides of that coin. I know. You know? Dude, can't can't give it up. Miles. You know. Are you using my? Are you yeah. using your my? Yeah, absolutely. To what? Like <laughs> to come here? <laughs> what? First class, San Diego to Newark. It's a hundred thousand miles. And uh, I had 300000 on my account. Are you booking the flights yourself? Like you're going on the... Uh, so if, it's for pri if it's for personal, yeah. But if not... If it's for work, yeah. If it's for oh, work, of it's usually just, you know, it's to something... the agency or managers or somebody. Yeah. yeah. Man. Um, let's step into the house for a second. <laughs> I can't believe you're using mine. Dude, it's That's insane. That's crazy to <laughs> me. It's insane. <laughs> um, you like to eat? You, got, you like to cook at the house too? You guys like no. to cook? No. No? You doing family dinners? Yeah, but it's usually it's usually uh, delivery. Really, like DoorDash or 
Okay. Grubhub. Now, whatever. will you guys sit down at the table and eat, or will you can you eat in front of the couch? Or you can you eat on the couch? Uh, it, the it, all, it, it depends. It's it. Our kids are always so scattered. Most of them are, are out of the house now. Sure. So if they're in town, we try to time it so everyone's there. But it's usually it's so hard. It's like it's like herding cats. Yeah. All right. So usually what happens is we get the food. I I get an abundance of food, and then my wife and I will sit and eat it, and then the boys will come in an hour later. Sure. So it's already in the fridge. Or, Tear it up. Know, they, yeah, and then they it's heat it right. back up. So that's 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 how it is. Will it's you not... take it out of the packaging that it comes in and plate and it, plate and it? Eat it, or will you eat it out of like the container that it comes in? Uh, we usually plate it yeah that's not bad uh what are you drinking with dinner at the house will you have a soda will you have an iced tea will you have um yeah iced tea or water yeah homemade iced tea no 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 is it a powder or like a what's it usually i order it with the feel okay okay fair enough were you a crystal light family growing up you ever mess with that no no crystal light Hmm. Mm -mm. uh domino's or pizza hut huh i'm not either one works for me you're cool with it. Yeah. Are you an In-N-Out man? Yeah. Okay. No onions. No onions. All right. Uh, Thank you for that. Sure. <laughs> I respect it. This is another hot button issue on the show. Uh, you get out of the shower, you're getting dressed. Uh, do you put your socks and then pants or your pants and then your socks? Pants and then socks. So underwear, pants, socks. Yeah. When okay. are you putting the deodorant on? After the shirt or before the shirt? Uh... I don't know if I ever methodically figured that one out. Like if it's just just happens I'm, when it happens. When I get to my toiletries or whatever, then that's when it happens. Do you know what what deodorant yeah. you're rocking? What are you using? Um, I have a Jump Arvado stick. You do? Yeah. Counting points, huh? <laughs> yeah, I know what the fuck. <laughs> it's crazy. You put anything in the hair? You any product? Uh, <clears throat> rarely. Okay. Right. No, I would say no. Are you peeing in the shower? Are you peeing in the yeah. shower? Yeah. Brush your teeth in there? No. In the shower, you got his and her sinks in the bathroom? Yes. Is the tub separate from the shower? Yes. Glass door on the shower? Yep. Fountain, or what's it called? Rain coming down? A- Waterfall head? Waterfall? Uh, we have both. Okay. You have both? Yeah. Do you each have your own closets? Like you're like... Uh, Yeah, it's, it's, it's connected. Okay. So there's a lot of spillover. Sure. But yes, we have our separate sides, yeah. They're connected. <clears throat> well, it's just one long closet, and there's sort of a divider. Yeah, there's an imaginary divider. Sure. King size bed, I assume. California king. California king. Got him. How many? <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm six <laughs> three. <laughs> He's a fucking California king. <laughs> you want another water? Are you okay? I'm okay. Um, how many pillows are you using to sleep? I'm sure one. there's just one. Yeah. You sleeping on your side? Sleeping on your back? On my back, cause my neck is kind of jacked. No kidding. You sleep on your back. Yep. Huh. Is the TV on when you go to sleep? Usually, yes. What are you usually watching? Uh, if I mean, if we're up that late, Colbert. Okay. Um, usually, we're watching something that was that we we recorded. That was like just a series that we're gonna see. I think the last thing we were watching was uh, Silo. Okay. And you fall asleep with the TV on. Do you set yeah. the timer and it's off when you wake up? No. It's just on when you it's wake just up. On. Yeah. My my wife will usually wake up through the middle of the night and put something on. You have books next to the bed? You're reading anything? No. I mean, I have a book next to the bed. I don't read it, but I always look at it and go, man, I got to get back into that. (laughs) (laughs) For the last two years. Uh, That's what I'm talking about. (laughs) Uh, What are you thinking, Kippy? Uh, This is... He's way trashier than I imagined. Mm -hmm. In a great (laughs) way, but vexing, to say the least. I'm leaning trash. Sure. Right? I mean, but he's got John Varvato's fucking deodorant. <laughs> What's the refrigerator? He probably used a mail-in rebate on. Look, tell Luke to grab him, get him a bottle of water. Um, what's the uh, what's the fridge situation? Is it a Viking sub Z stainless steel? Uh, yeah, it's Viking. Yeah, Viking. Yeah. Same thing with the with the with the range. With the I don't with know the, what the with range the... is. We just redid our kitchen, so it's it's definitely not trash. Is it in is it in the middle? Like is it uh, is it on an island? Thank you. We have an island, but the range is on the side. Okay. All right. I, I, I think I'm pretty good here, man, to be honest. What kind of luggage you got? Not Nothing special. Just whatever. To me? Um, no, I have a one. I just, someone, they gave it to me at some conference. Okay. And it's super light, and so I just run it. Okay. You check a bag? If I 
No. Try not to. Try not to, yeah. I've had too many cases where my skateboard doesn't make it. Sure. So I carry my skateboard on as as my carry on. You ca- like in your hand or in a bag? Yeah, in my hand. Yeah. So you so t- I'm sitting on a plane. Tony Hawk gets on. He's got a skateboard in his hand. Yeah. Always. <laughs> That's pretty fucking yeah. cool, man. I gotta be That's honest. Why he's the fucking bird man? <laughs> dude. It's crazy. I have it here. I know you rolled in <laughs> with it. Can you whistle with your fingers? No. Do you have magazines in the bathroom? No. No, no. Hmm. I mean, we have our phone. So you, when yeah. you're in there, you're on your phone. That's yeah. it. Yeah. You know how to use chopsticks? Yes. Hmm. Uh, when it comes to wings, do you prefer the flats or the or the or the, or the 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 leg? I don't care. You don't care. Do you have any two dollar bills? Um, I had one not long ago because my friend just gave it to me. Okay. So it, but, I probably still have it. Okay, but you're not holding on to it, being like this is going to be worth something someday. No. Okay. Any- I mean, yeah, he's he has like a he has a whole he has a stockpile of them. Yeah, people. Th- that's a that guy's trash. People that think that they're going to be worth something. Yeah, I don't know, yeah, but he yeah, gives yeah. them out. Like, yeah. here you go. Yeah, don't tell Special, anybody. Yeah. yeah, you didn't get this for me. If somebody, huh. if you're at a restaurant and somebody's birthday is going on and they're singing Happy Birthday, will you chime in and sing Happy Birthday? <laughs> <laughs> no. Will you give a round of applause when they get yes. done? Yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. That's a gentleman's that's move. A, that's a respectable yeah. move, Mr. Hall. <laughs> yeah. That ain't going to pull you out there. You need a lot more than that. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, it's. <sighs> he's. So I'm, like, I'm I, I've never thought I'd saying? be. I know. You're trash. Uh, but it's confusing trash. Where do you keep the Where do you keep the butter in the house? You keep it's it on the trash. counter or you keep it in the fridge? Uh, The fridge. Keep it in the fridge. Yeah. Ketchup? Ketchup's just out there. Out, not in the refrigerator. No. Interesting. Whoa. Man. Is it supposed to be in the fridge? I think so. I think it's supposed to refrigerate it after opening. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, Re- maybe it's in the fridge. I don't I never really reach for the ketchup. Okay. Because when we're getting stuff that requires ketchup, we're getting fast food that we got the ketchup package. Sure. Right? What do you dip in your fries in? Would you dip your fries in mayo? Are uh, you opposed to it? No, just ketchup. Just ketchup. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, mayonnaise wise, Hellman's. You got any on you? <laughs> Hellman's or Miracle Whip? Uh, I, I'm Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip. <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> this is crazy. Do we really like is mayonnaise? There's something magical about mayonnaise. That There's we, something yeah, Miracle, about Miracle Yeah, Whip, Miracle yeah. Whip's a, is, is no, a. No, but I mean, is there high end mayonnaise that is really no, like, Hellman's? Hel- Hellman's is. The- or you might know it as Duke's or America's Best. I don't see. I don't even know what those are. But Miracle Whip, yes. Miracle Whip, man. Uh, are you a mustard guy? Uh, yeah, just regular mustard. Goldens or yellow? Yellow. How do you like your hot dog cooked? Do you like it uh, on the grill, boiled, microwaved? Microwaved? Uh, well, if I'm gonna get it, I would hope it came from the grill. Sure. Okay. And what are you putting on it? Ketchup and mustard. Ketchup and mustard. Yeah. You really are like the poster child for the suburban American. Yeah, yeah. it really is, man. It's fucking. I mean, awesome. yeah, I grew up just some regular kid in yeah. San Diego, and going, you know, just like became, my, the, like became my, the gnarliest dude in the world. Dude. My my dad, our big di- or like our big meal out would be Bob's a Big Boy. <laughs> like that's you're going sure. family dinner. Sure, man. L- listen, as a fat. 10-year-old kid who wanted to be nothing but a professional skateboarder. It's crazy to sit down next to you and call you trash, but you're fucking trash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy I got I think, to meet you, but you're fucking garbage. I you're, think you're, that's, what, that's what my kids were hoping. That, that, that was. I mean, the only way I could put it, you're every single thing I hoped you would be. <laughs> and you talk about fucking delivering, man. Yeah. It's fucking Amazing. fantastic. Oh, thank 100% you. 100% garbage. Love thank you, buddy. You thank much. you so much. This is surreal for me. Dude. Great. I, I didn't think I'd ever be honored to be called garbage. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm happy to be the one to do it, baby. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tony Hawk. Yeah, thank you, buddy. Pro, uh, you got pro the garbage. You yes. got the podcast. Anything you want the folks out there to know? Uh, yeah, Hawk versus Wolf. We're on every week. Uh, yeah. We got great guests, and uh, I have a foundation, the Skate Park Project, um, that we we try to build. We 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 help to build uh, public skate parks in underserved areas. Um, few here actually, Brooklyn Banks. Okay. Les. Right. Um, and all uh, class in that regard. Yeah. In the I giving mean, back oh, section. Of course, that's amazing. Just one of the fucking coolest guys. Yeah. Ever. It, it, I don't want to be on the podcast. Is your charity garbage? <laughs> <laughs>
That's our new spinoff we're working on. For for which I would defend to the death that we are not garbage. Not at all. We not actually all. have great ratings as a charity, and it's the work I'm most proud of. So that's if amazing. You can look it up and you can help. Yeah, awesome. it's crazy what you've given back, man. Yeah, it's, it's really great. unbelievable. It's an honor to sit down with you. Yeah, man. Uh, we can't thank you enough. We love you. you Thanks too. a lot. Thank we you appreciate much. it. Kippy, what do you got for him? Uh, guys, we're all over the road. We're announcing uh, second shows in Toronto, Denver, and uh, third show in Chicago. Get Ooh. those tickets. They're moving quick. Philly's about to go. Check it out. Tony, thank you again. Yeah, ma'am. Boys. Me. That was fun. I love you. Gang, we love you, and we'll Peace. see you next week.